Uh, hey, how's it going, bros? It's PewDiePie again, the multi-millionaire that keeps complaining about stuff. Why don't you just shut the fuck up? Why does he talk like filthy Frank? He's been doing it for two years, but now people are starting to point it out, so he should just stop. He should just stop talking like that. Okay, anyway, I've recorded this video four times now. No, wait, that's not how they say it. I've been trying to record this video four times now. I am <laughs> I love when YouTubers do that. It's been so hard for me to shoot this video. <laughs> I had to take four attempts. Coffee black and white. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's uh, it's actually taken me four times to make this video, not because it's so hard for me to talk about this, but because things keep changing. This whole fiber thing is <laughs> so out. I just fucking so much has happened. So much has happened that you don't know even know about. I've literally made three videos. I'm just going to scrap them. And I'm simply gonna explain what has happened. I did my first video doing Fiverr request. You pay people five bucks and they will do take your request. We'll paint your message on my body and dance in the jungle. I will play Hearthstone with you three times. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? I will finish any math lab web assigned task. You can literally cheat at school. Math lab. Some of them did not take my request. I asked a girl, a mathematician, to make a graph out of a penis. Remember that if you will use abusive language, then we'll be forward to support team, where we can learn how to write proper grammar. She didn't want to do that, so she canceled the order. I asked someone to Photoshop a, a weird picture or something like that. They didn't want to do that, so they so they canceled the order. But for some reason, these these fiber guys accepted the order to to write "death to all Jews" on a message and dance. Subscribe to Keemstar. Uh, the response in the video initially was. <laughs> Really great. I knew people would be offended, and I knew people wouldn't like it. But I also knew people would would see the joke in it and would find it funny. And honestly, the comments when the video came out were like, "This is the funniest video I've ever seen." And I'm not just straw picking. Like it, it was generally people loved the video. They thought it was really funny. Then people that do, I think that don't watch my channel heard about it. And they wanted to get triggered by it, and so they come over to my channel, and they're like, oh, You can't do this. How dare you, PewDiePie? How dare you tell people these innocent little boys? I like how they're boys whenever it's convenient. <laughs> Those little Indian boys, they don't speak any English. They didn't know what deaf to meant, even though they can articulate proper full of sentences and write with proper English grammar. They didn't know what they were doing. So basically what happened was that the Fiverr guys, the, the ones who did the video, they got banned from Fiverr, which really sucks. I think it's, uh, it was really bullshit. I'm, I was really down to hear that. I felt really bad about it, so I wanted to do something about the situation. But at the same time, I didn't know what to do. Like, what do I do? So I tried to contact Fiverr. Now, I managed to get in contact with uh, someone over at Fiverr, and they're saying that they want to unban them and figure it out. So hopefully it gets solved and we can kind of just move on. The person that contacted me said they loved my video and they thought it was really funny and they understand. But some higher ups at Fiverr, Jewish, <laughs> didn't didn't like the humor, I guess. Uh, and you know what? In Fiverr's defense, I can understand that they don't want their website to be used to spread, you know, anti-Semitic messages. You know, I fully understand that. But it was also not serious. I, I mean, it was clearly a joke. And, and not just Fiverr guys got banned, I got banned as well. So I decided to make a second video and this time be a little bit more subtle with my... My... Uh, <laughs> My hate speech. I'm just kidding. Um, so I thought it would be funny to to to, to um, test you know test out the waters. So basically, there was a girl that would said she will dance to your music. I will dance to the song you want. That seems worth six dollars. Please dance to this tune. So I sent her DJ Adolf and see if she would she would go through with it. Cause I don't know. That's just funny to me.
Anführer! Bitte raus und tanzen! I asked these cartoon artists who make cartoon versions of your face to make one of my granddad. I gotta order one of these amazing cartoon portraits because I, I love them. Here's a picture of my granddad, Joseph, Joseph Goebbels. And then I asked a Photoshop artist to who retouches images to retouch one of my other granddad. Could you please make him look younger, fresher, etc. And it all worked. I had the files. So then finally, I asked um, the cost speech from Metal Gear Solid 5. It's just the funniest thing because it's so dramatic. And if you don't know the context behind it, it's just so funny to me. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So I thought it would be funny for someone who's a voice actor or a really bad voice actor to reach out, read, read the cost speech. It, it amazes me how these people who claim to be professional voice actors have the absolute worst quality of audio that I have ever heard. My name is Sandeep Sarva, and I'm a professional voice actor, and you can also take- But no, they wrote, this is sensitive, this is sensitive media, and I'm not gonna do it. Every night, I can feel my leg. What? My account got flagged. They found out, oh, it's Budipa. He's up to no good again. And I got banned for the second time. My Fiverr account got banned again. I guess this site just isn't meant for me, is it? I don't know when this video is coming out. I'm kind of struggling with this whole video. And at that point, I'm just like, what the fuck do I do? God damn it. This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> so of course, I make a third account. <laughs> and I named it Jacksepticeye12, thinking, oh, I'll get away with this. And this time I thought, okay, well now I'm just gonna play completely PC. I'm not gonna, you know, do anything that might be considered offensive. And I kept trying to make orders on Fiverr, despite having a new account, it just didn't work. <laughs> All right, so I've been puzzled for the last 10 minutes why none of my transactions are going through. And then I found that they are automatically refunding all my payments. They banned my PayPal account. <laughs> Clearly Fiverr want nothing to do with me because not, not only did they ban me twice, they banned my, fi uh, my PayPal account trying to prevent me from making any other transaction through their website. But of course, I got credit cards, all right? I'm poor. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I just used a credit card and that worked. So I made a third video, completely PC. Okay, let's play it nice. Hello, pleased to be working with you. I am the famous YouTuber, Jack Spadicey. And then they fucking banned me again. God damn it. I got banned three times. Fiverr. The, the ending keeps changing, you know, I'm supposed to react to the Fiverr, but then I get banned and then I do it again And then I get banned and I've been banned three fucking times. I got banned again by Fiverr So meanwhile, I'm talking to this guy trying to unban the Fiverr guys They made a video explaining about their situation that Extremely sorry for the mistake we have made in the video How can you not accept that apology? Look how sad they look Please forgive us we really don't know what the message meant while making the video. Okay, I don't believe that, but regardless, they're sad. What? You know, l l let's get real. They, they know what Def2 means. Regardless, you watch it and you, you can't help but feeling bad for them. They clearly love Fiverr. They clearly want to keep making videos and I, I don't want to ruin that. And, and they apologize, so I thought for sure that they would unban the Fiverr guys because it's such a heartfelt apolo apology. To me, it, it didn't make any sense for them to stay banned. And then, so I thought, okay, well, I'm, I'll make a video that will help them get back their account. I'll make some sort of statement. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do it. And then all of a sudden, things keep fucking changing. I, I know, it's fucking annoying, but Jesus got banned. Hi. This is Jesus, and I just wanted to say, subscribe to my favorite channel on YouTube, Jack Spadicey 2. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus was another person that was in my video, and he didn't say anything offensive at all. Look at this. Hello, it's me, and I have a very important update. As you know, uh, I was recently featured in a PewDiePie video, and that was great. I got uh, lots of traffic to my Fiverr account because of it. Yeah, it brought traffic to Fiverr's account. It brought business to this guy. 
He didn't even do anything bad. So Jesus gets banned now, and I'm like, well, if Jesus gets banned and they're not unbanning Fiverr and they banned me three times, they're clearly gone, you know? They're not gonna come back to the website. Fiverr clearly says, fuck these guys. Jesus says that he didn't say anything bad, but in my s second video, I caught Jesus saying, uh, Hitler did nothing wrong, all right? I have that on video. Let's show that. Hello, Jesus here. Just want to let you all know that Hitler did absolutely nothing wrong. What the fuck? Sorry for him. He only wanted to act upon God's will. Don't worry, though. He stands beside God now. He is in heaven. Wait. That's all, folks. Jesus out. Fiverr guys got banned, but G And I wasn't the one who made him say it. Or was it? I don't think so. Regardless, he set up a GoFundMe page and his own website, so you can take orders from Jesus himself. And also, can I just point out that it's a little bit ironic that that Jews somehow found another way to fuck Jesus over? No? Okay. Anyway, so I thought, okay, well this is a great solution. Jesus Christ has set up his private website. And you can just order from his own website. Jesus and Fiverr guys were the most p popular people on the website after I made my video. And they literally got hundreds of orders. So I thought, okay, well great, now they can just keep do making videos on their own terms. They don't have to give a split to Fiverr. They can put messages whatever they want. They don't risk getting banned for no reason whatsoever. And their living just getting taken away. So I was gonna, okay, well I do donate to their GoFundMe page. Uh, so I don't hit I was gonna do it a, a thousand split to, to Fiverr guys and and um, and Jesus so I started with Jesus uh, I'll be donating 500 okay that's a hundred orders worth I uh, implore the Fiverr guys to do the same I will make the same donation so a thousand bucks just to get them up there off their feet I feel bad this whole thing has happened and then I was gonna con tell the Fiverr guys to do the same thing Jesus is doing and potentially help them set up their website Ah, uh, and I I did that, and then they just got unbanned. Now they're unbanned, which is great. <laughs> I mean, it's great, but I want my fucking five hundred dollars back. Thank you, Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> it's so so fucking annoying. This whole situation. But regardless, I'm really glad they got their account back. I'm really glad Fiverr uh, decided to not ban them. Uh, I had this whole other video plan where I'm just could, literally just gonna shit all over you But I think it's pretty cool that you unban Jesus and the Fiverr guys and haven't we all learned something from this? Now despite getting banned from Fiverr three times and my PayPal account potentially my credit card There was one man one man that delivered my request. One man that doesn't play by the rules of Fiverr. One man who's greater than, uh, I would say, anyone that does messages online. I'm talking, of course, about big man Tyrone. Hi subscribers, viewers, internet friends, and chicken scrubs, Big Man Tyrone here. Welcome to the happiest channel on planet Earth, where we set goals, advertise products, create fun videos, and generally have a laugh. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you about my favorite channel on YouTube, Jacksepticeye Eye 2. Yes! Jacksepticeye Eye He even pronounced it right! And I love his content, unlike PewDiePie. Who freaking sucks. Hey! <laughs> I didn't tell you to say that! What the fuck, Tyrone? Also, <laughs> what? Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, well, I think we all learned a lesson here, and that is if you need a message online, fuck Fiverr, you just go to big man Tyrone. The real messenger of the internet. The real Jesus Christ of the internet. That's pretty much all I've learned. And who knows, maybe I'll make another Fiverr video in the future. Also, YouTube, uh, YouTube unmonetized the video, so... Uh, I didn't make any, any profit of it. So, you know, if you could, um... If you could maybe refresh this video a couple times, I think that, that would be pretty nice. I need more money. 
I need more money because I just lost $500 on Jesus fucking Christ.